When designing in FreeCAD for 3D printing, there are two primary workflows. One centers on the part design workbench and the other centers on the part workbench. Especially when you're using the part workbench, you often need one or more tools from other workbenches. Of course, you can just switch to the other workbench, click on the tool you need, and switch back, but that gets old fast and often you literally just needed to press one button. Fortunately, FreeCAD allows us to create custom toolbars and pull in pieces that we need from other workbenches and stick them in the part workbench. Let's have a look at that. The first thing we need to do is switch to the part workbench, and then we go to Tools, Customize. Now we select the Toolbars tab and we're ready to create our new toolbar, so we click New. You can name your toolbar anything you want. I'm going to just go with the default. It's time to add some tools. First we highlight our new toolbar and the first tool I want to add is Create Sketch button from the Sketch Workbench. I find I'm using this all the time in the Part Workbench. I don't know why it's not included by default. So we open the drop down on the left and we select the sketcher. Now we scroll through the list of tools, which don't seem to be in any particular order, until we find the Create Sketch tool. Now we highlight the Create Sketch tool and click on the right arrow to move a copy into our new toolbar. If you add a tool by mistake, just highlight it and use the left arrow to remove it. Next, a few tools from the Curves Workbench that I use all the time. If you don't have the Curves Workbench installed, I highly recommend that you go to the Add-on Manager and install it. I'll add Blend Curve, Geometry Info, and Discretize. Going on to the Surface Workbench, I'll add Filling, Fill Boundary Curves, and the Sections tool. Thinking about it for a moment, I think I would also like the Parametric Solid tool from the Curves Workbench. I have some tools that I want now, but by highlighting a tool and using the up and down arrows, I can reorder them as I like. Finally, I'll add the Create Subobject Shape Binder tool from the Part Design Workbench. Although Part Design doesn't always play nicely with objects from the Part Workbench, the Subobject Shape Binder actually works very well, even if you're not working within a body. Once we have the toolbar the way we want it, just click Close. Now we just grab the toolbar's handle and drag it to where we want it. 